It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are off and running on a brand new week. But you know the great thing about it, we got our same great sponsors, including Sherwin-Williams House Paint, 315 Jefferson Street, 836-8125. This is the number to call for any interior and exterior painting needs you might have for your house. Residential kind of stuff. Not automotive now. Greg Bradshaw can help you out with the house painting, though. And we got ProMed Ambulance, one 800 634 0436. Give them a call. Get signed up on their Priority Membership Ambulance Care Program. Tell them Uncle John and Kelly sent you. Because it is absolutely better to have them and not need them. Than need them and not have them. Also, we got uh, the the good folks over at the Shopper's Got. That's right. Our good friend J.J. Lindsay. If you got any printing needs, if you got some uh, uh, business cards, if you got some stationery, whatever your printing needs are, you call J.J. down to Shopper's Guide, and he'll hook you up. Also, uh, you can check us out on our podcast, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, anywhere you can get podcasts, including YouTube and Facebook. You can pull us up and listen to us anytime that you want. Tell your friends all about it, too. Absolutely. Also, you can hear listen to the podcast for uh, the, the morning show, the uh, morning shift uh with jj uh aldridge and all that kind of good stuff yeah you know uncle john wouldn't mind getting in on that sometime oh well you really be careful what you ask for now we start early around here okay as soon as that roaster crows man we're talking on the radio all right i'll just come straight from the bar right on over here then (laughs) there you go what you want to talk about here today john speaking of bars well you know last week uh a veritable member of southern rock royalty passed away the the last original member of Leonard Skinner, originally the One Percent Band, Gary Rossington, Rossington, passed away at uh, age seventy-one. Seventy-one is a pretty good run, you know. And the plane crash in seventy seventy broke both legs and both arms. That's kind and of hard to play. Had to, had to learn to play again after he got over the plane crash. That's some but, rehab uh, right there. Uh, he was the last original member of the band that formed in nineteen sixty-six in Jacksonville, Florida. They all met on the softball field playing baseball. Most of them went to school together, but they didn't really know each other until they they met on the softball field. And one had a guitar, and one had an amp, and one had a set of drums. And before you know it, they were the one percent band. Later on, they became Leonard Skinner in honor of their their uh, PE coach and history teacher that hated long hair, a man by the name of Leonard Skinner. To uh, to get back at him for hating long hair, they just named their band Leonard Skinner. Later on, he chilled out, calmed down, and and uh, appreciated the notoriety. They all became friends, and they became famous worldwide. I tell you what, there it's hard to. I mean, when you say Leonard Skinner, that's Southern rock right there. That, that is that, the that is the soundtrack of my childhood. The now, epitome. I loved the Almond Brothers. I loved Molly Hatchet. I loved the Charlie Daniels Band. I loved all them guys. I loved, you know, I loved them all. Um, uh, Marshall Tucker, all of them. But Leonard Skinner, to me, was the epitome of Southern rock. I agree. And and I'm going to tell you right now, uh, the things that are being played today that are new will be forgotten. Weeks, months, far less than years from now. They won't ever play that again. Right. Leonard Skinner, Sweet Home Alabama, uh, Freebird, uh, Traveling Man, They Call Me the Breeze. All those songs are played every day. Even Sweet, today. Sweet Home Alabama is played every day. And it will be played every day as long as anybody is alive that was alive then. And I'm going to tell you, Freebird is probably the most famous Southern rock song of all time. I was just fixing been to say. been played at more funerals. It'll be played at my funeral. Uh but Gary Washington can make that Les Paul, you know, sound like a songbird. Yep. One of the greatest slide players of all time. Great musician. Greatest band of all time as far as I'm concerned. My good friend Steve Purifoy would, would feel the same way. But uh, rest in peace, Gary Rock. They're all back together again. All of them are in heaven. 
uh, serenading the gods, and uh, you know it, it's kind of fitting. Flying high like the free birds that they are. And I want to bring it to everybody's attention. The men's fellowship tonight at Chichester Baptist Church, starting at 630. There'll be a good meal. There'll be a good message. Be good fellowship. All the men are welcome. Right there in Chichester on Tate's Bluff Road. Men's fellowship tonight, starting at 630. I want to invite everybody to come on out. Any idea who's speaking this time? I do not, but it'll be a good one. It'll I be, you. And there'll be good food good to get food on tea. every time. Yes, sir. All right, John. That's going to wrap up Remember When with Uncle John here for today, but we'll be right back here tomorrow ready to do it all over again. Same bet time, same bet channel. See you then, Johnny. If I leave here tomorrow, will you still remember me? I imagine so. See you tomorrow, Kelly. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.